let's get Josh Bull Ross back at it again with another video. So, I wanted to kind of talk to you guys, man. Uh, I checked out a Jim Cornette video a couple of days ago on the channel, and a lot of you guys were, you know, happy that I finally checked out uh jim cornette's podcast on the channel itself and then there was quite a few of you guys that weren't really too happy that i was checking uh like you know reacting to some jim cornette content and i wanted to kind of ask you guys a question really is what is i guess the issue with jim cornette in the wrestling community uh i've been following him on youtube or subscribed to his uh podcast on youtube for majority of this year i just never actually took time to film a reaction but a lot of times i would find myself laughing at his you know his interesting wrestling takes especially when it comes to AEW. and for me personally it was never something that um i would get so angry about because once again it's his opinion some of his the things he would say i would agree with and then there's some things i i definitely wouldn't agree with but a lot of people seem to have this notion of him that i've seen on social media that he's a old out of touch guy that loves to shit on aew wrestling and i've seen that you know people have you know voiced their opinion of that especially on twitter so it was surprising to me when i get on twitter today and i see someone i guess they subscribed to me or were subscribed to me i don't know but they were basically saying they were disappointed that i checked out jim Cornette, and you know there was other people surprised and disappointed or whatever the situation was and i was kind of confused on it honestly because it was just like you know a lot of you guys have personally hit me up so many times saying i need to check out some jim Cornette stuff and the thing is you know i don't have a problem hearing people out especially if i'm already subscribed to them even today on twitter as of me filming this someone sent me an old clip of him saying some racist stuff well he used the n-word with the hard er and it was like some clip from like maybe 95 some audio clip and it seemed like when i'm listening to it that he's explaining what he was doing in character now i did watch the new jack uh docu a uh, little uh docu series they had on the dark side of the ring i did watch that episode and you know jim Cornette was on there and i know at one point they were doing somewhat of a racist angle you know what i'm saying and that was just a time period that back then as well so when i'm listening to him say the hard er while he's explaining something or whatever the situation is i didn't it didn't really upset me only because i know for a fact that's just what that time period was not in the sense of him saying it so loosely but in the sense of i think more so he was explaining what you know what he was doing to be you know a heel i mean he was being a heel manager and granted at the same time you know what i'm saying i you know i think he could have probably not have said the word but once again that was a different time period so I'm not going to sit up there. I, I think the person who sent that tweet, that video to me, wanted me to have this notion, oh, you shouldn't check him out because he said this. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, you know what? I can, you know, I, I don't, I can be someone that can be like, all right, yeah, it was in the past. I'm sure he's not going around saying that now. You know what I'm saying? If there's some other footage of him just using it loosely, then no, I won't support. But I don't think that was the situation. I think he was just more so explaining what he was doing as a heel to heal, you know, to really get people upset, to piss people off. That was his job to be a piece of crap manager heel. You know what I'm saying? So it's crazy how some people in the community or a lot of people in the community to have this disdain for Jim Cornette so much that even if I check him out, even if I react to him, it's like, what are you doing? Why are you reacting to someone like him? He's trash. He doesn't know what he's talking about. And once again, I hear some of you guys' complaints. He's out of touch. He doesn't know, you know what I'm saying, what wrestling is today. But at the same time, this is somebody that's been in the wrestling business before I even was born. So I, I think he has an idea. And sometimes I do think his, his takes are kind of, you know, a little outdated. But once again, it's his opinion, y'all. 
this is what makes the world what it is you can have a different opinion you know you don't have to watch it and for those who do not like the fact that i checked out jim Cornette, you didn't have to like watch the video you could have easily skipped that video and there's hundreds of other videos you can check out or suggest for me to check out and me personally i still want to check some of his content out you guys enjoyed the video those that watch i want to check out some more stuff i definitely want to check out whenever he drops his thoughts and opinions on on the mjf promo i did see this week uh where mjf sent william regal to the gulag shit was hilarious so i really want to see what he talks about that and says on that aspect as well i was able to catch that so you know there's certain things i want to get his opinion on and you know i find his rhetoric and his nicknames for some of these wrestlers are fucking hilarious calling kenny omega twinkle toes kills me every time and and calling john moxley plumber moxley it it, it just it, it it sends me over because he literally does not care for some people like individually at all and I'm okay with it. And these are people I don't have a problem with Kenny Omega. I don't have a problem with John Moxley. I enjoy their matches for the most part. So, you know, I, I me personally, I don't get the 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 I guess you could say the hatred for him that he gets on Twitter and social media. And I definitely don't get why I get the secondhand hatred because I react and react to it. But I'm one of the people that don't give a damn. I'm going to check it out because I know some of you guys, majority of you guys want me to check it out. And that's just what it is. So for those who do not like Jim Cornette, I just wanted to let you know, if you see a video, you won't see it. You know, you may see one once a week. You see one, just don't watch it. You know what I'm saying? So I, I want to get y'all opinion. And this is why I made this video so we can have this discussion. Why do you guys feel like the wrestling community and I wouldn't say all of the wrestling community, but it's a decent amount. Why do you guys think that people just don't like Jim Cornette? You know what I'm saying? Is it just because of his old school takes? Is it just because he doesn't want to give this new style of wrestling a chance? You know what I'm saying? Let me know, because honestly, I, he's entitled to his opinion. He makes some fairly good points. I don't think he just goes out there blindly hating stuff. He makes some good points about the AEW product and the WWE product, in my opinion. So it's not just all hate and, and, and disdain, like just disgust. I think for him, he just he has his old school mindset. And, you know, maybe, you know, maybe for for the people out there, maybe that's not something they can rock with. So I just I always wanted to know why. Jim Cornette got so much hate. So let me know down below if you guys have a, a clear understanding on why Jim Cornette gets the hate that he gets. Um, but I appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel. Road to 150K. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all next one. Peace.